courageous initiative in our, our, our country. So opposition did not collapse, to answer you. Uh, we did not go into government, unlike the propaganda being spread by our detractors. We remained very much in opposition. Our party in parliament was doing what is done in this country, what you call Her Majesty's Law and Opposition, where you do not just propose for the sake of proposing, but you propose and also offer a constructive alternative as what you are proposing. This is what has been happening in Kenya. Uh, there have been fallacious theories that, oh, you've got uh, opposition in government and uh, government in opposition. Nothing could be further from the truth. Because that so-called government in opposition is living in official dome. The deputy president, when he came to this country and the United States, he spent over one million, Kenya, one million US dollars in taxpayers' money to bring that entourage out here. He's traveling with the government security. Everything is done for him officially. I have to pay my airfare to come here. And with all the people you see who have come here, none of them has been paid for by the government. And like him, he traveled with the official government, uh, with the official government uh, security, uh, and so on and so forth. So it cannot be an opposition, uh, a government in opposition. Uh, I don't know whether, how, if that kind of term exists anywhere. But finally, uh, Caroline, Yes, uh, um, maternal mortality. This is an issue of serious concern to us. Um, accompanied here by Madame Charity Ngilu, who has been a Minister for Health uh, and came up with a policy to address issue, the issue, this particular issue and other issues of health concerns that uh, we have said that we are going to improve um, health care generally in the country by ensuring that the facilities are available and closer to the people and that they are brought up to real international standards so that you have got, you've got facilities which are manned by qualified staff and uh, the equipment and everything else is available uh, 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 in those centers. So this will help to minimize maternal uh, uh, mortality uh, in, in the country. The antenatal uh, care and so all this will be provided for uh, through this kind of uh, scheme. And um, you talked about um, the safe uh, abortion. As you know, that this was a very contentious issue during the debate of our new constitution. But our constitution had provided that in cases where the life of the mother is threatened, then the doctors are actually um, uh, entitled and allowed to, to, to terminate the pregnancy. And um, uh, just like general maternal mortality rate, this will be done as uh, in the centers that we are intending to, to provide or close